All right, folks, as far as I can tell, we are approximately halfway through this game because we just beat the second island. And I want to do a quick little recap of the events. So thus far, other than the battle royal bullshit that shouldn't have counted where Eevee died, um, other than that, nothing has died, ever. I've beaten all the totems, all the kahunas, nothing has died. Also, I've beaten Ben Saint twice. I beat him twice in a row. No problems for the most part. I, it, it was pretty good matches. So what I'm getting at is that a lot of you have been telling me, Monkey, why are you using the EXP share? It's so cheap. You're so overleveled. That's why the game is so easy. Nobody's dying. I need more drama. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm hearing you, and I understand your pain. You are feeling pain that I am not feeling enough pain, and I understand that. That's a serious concern. And thus far, my justification has been, well, I'm... I'm not, you, I'm using the EXP share because Ben is using the EXP share and, and we are rivals and all this blah 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 so it has to be fair and equal. But now that I've beaten him twice in a row? I've beaten him twice in a row? When he was trying his hardest and he pulled out all the stops and got leftovers bullshit and found a black sludge and I'm sure he fucking cheated somehow, I don't know. I don't fucking know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter, because I won twice. I am too good at this game. So, for the sake of the rest of the Nuzlocke, I'm going to turn off the EXP share. And you know what? I'm going to beat Ben for a third time in a row, even though he is still using the EXP share and I'm not. That will just further the humiliation, which is exactly what I want to do. So no more EXP share for me. Uh, here's the team. You can see it down in the corner, but here it is for me. Uh, Valisquez is back, replacing um, uh, the girl. I, f I forgot the fucking the rock's name. Uh, and uh, and we have Alejandro replacing Jesus. Sorry, Jesus. Alejandro is too good, which you guys haven't really seen him in battle other than his finishing blow. But he he's a force to be reckoned with, or I guess she, Alejandro's a she. So somebody pointed out in the comments that I should use this fucker, and look at him. So he has the nature that makes his attack even higher, which is great because he's a fighting Pokemon, but also he has the ability Fluffy, which halves the damage taken from uh, physical moves. Are you fucking kidding me? That... I thought only the the Furfro, the fucking Poodle from Gen 6 could have that, but I guess not. So this Alejandro is going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'm very excited to use him. Anyway, let's get the fuck off this island. We got shit to explore. We got a third island to conquer. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to do. Let's do it. New place. Does that mean new Pokemon? Can I go fishing? Doesn't look like I can. Yeah. Hey, there's a Pikachu. Okay. Oh, and I guess we're just off in a cutscene. Okay, let's get on the boat. Let's go to Ula Ula. I'm done on this one. Maybe I'll fly back to wreak havoc once again, but I doubt it. Uh, I don't believe you. What the? Okay, let's go. Let's go. How? Don't you want to battle? That'd be fun. Let's battle. Oh, we're going to the tiny one. Wait, Aether Paradise? No, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, this is weird. I want to go to an island. I assume this little thing in the middle was going to be the Elite Four? Like the Pokemon League? But I guess it's the Aether Paradise. Created for the conservation of Pokemon. Outfitted with all the latest technology. Uh, Pokeballs, blah, blah, blah. But you can't use Pokeballs here. Oh, the, so I can't even get into a battle here. If I can't battle, what's the fucking point? Oh, hello. Hello, yes, very nice to meet you. I'm sure you're charmed as well. With my QT Pie girl. Not really a big fan of those big pink puffy glasses though we might have to remove those but then hey you'll be like 
You'd be like a 6 out of 10 lady, that's pretty good. Everything's all white, like it's a futuristic dystopian hellhole. I get the sense that something terrible is going to happen here, in that these white walls and floors will soon be stained with the blood of Pokemon. You must be around 11 then? Are we 11? Uh, shit, we're only 11? Oh no. Hmm. Well, I guess we're all, we all have a little bit of, a little bit of sigh inside of us. You're being attracted to these 11 year olds. It happens to the best of us. Hey, this is where the cutscene at the beginning, that one chick with her weird little uh, uh, bag Pokemon that keeps getting out of her gym sack. This is where she was running away from. So yeah, so these Aether people must be evil, right? Or maybe they were just trying to stop her from stealing a Pokemon. But I don't know, it seemed pretty intense in the cutscene at the beginning. Either way, I'm not feeling too good about being here. Oh, something bad's happening, I called it. Why am I smiling like a retard? Everybody else has looks of concern and I'm smiling like some weird Chucky doll. Oh, there I go, now I have some emotion. Oh, oh, the dimension is broken. And there's a jellyfish. Is that a totem? A totem jelly? Do I actually get to fight something now? Oh, it's like a jellyfish princess? That's a, a weird concept. But if Pokeballs don't work, can I even fight this thing? Or is it friendly? From another world? Brrr. Stand back, that thing's not right. He's like Bobby Hill. That thing ain't right. Boy, howdy, okay. Well, looks like it's a water thing, so if I have to fight it, I probably want to start with sheep over. Mmm, hello? You want to fight, boy? Oh, he does, he does! I thought they said that Pokeballs don't work in the Aether eighth, Foundation house, Paradise uh, Island. They said they don't work! Oh my god, he's defense rose. That's fine, I'm using... Motherfucking Sheepover! And Sheepover does not care about your defense. Level 27, that's fine. Let's go ahead and Thunder Wave. It always, it's always good to Thunder Wave. Yeah, especially when they're way faster. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Sheepover. Thunder Wave him this time. Maybe I'll get uh, Flinch Locked. Yep, <laughs> Flinch Locked. Let's see if you can do that, what, 40 more times. Good luck. Is that his only attack? Really? Oh, that was a crit. And I flinched! Are you fucking kidding me? Come on! Ooh, now he has a new attack. Good. No more flinching here. Ooh, sheepy. Okay. We still have over half, so I'm... I'm confident that we'll be okay, and now we'll be faster. So let's see how much an Electro Ball does. Maybe I should have used a light screen, but that's okay. We'll see how much this does. Maybe we can knock it out in two hits. Or... Oh, it fled? What? No, don't flee. I was gonna catch you. I just realized I can catch you. Don't go anywhere. Oh, you fuck. Oh, wait, no. Po Pokeballs don't work here, so I couldn't have tried to catch it anyway. That makes sense. Okay. I guess the ones with Pokemon in them already still work? I don't know. Uh, but that thing can fuck off. Oh, gosh, she's evil. Wait, an ultra, ultra beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the ultra wormhole. We're going all interstellar here. It looked like it was suffering, like it pained to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it, and I will love it. That's the face of love if I've ever seen it. I think the title of this episode will be Ultra Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'm sure I'm the first one to make that hilarious joke about a Harry Potter spinoff that I've never read or seen the movie. Oh, we get the psychic TM? Great. So shitty Alakazam just got slightly less shitty. But no worries on my end. I don't even care anymore. I'm too good to worry. Never again will Mumkey worry about a battle. 
He'll go in with his head held high. And let's see if anybody on our team can learn Psychic. I doubt it. Unless it's like... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe Rimbombi can learn Psychic because it's a fairy. So that might be like a close... I don't know. We'll see. I don't care about this wormhole nonsense. It's a very Japanese-feeling town. Or I guess maybe the whole island is like this. Yeah, let's battle, Hal. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's fight here in Little Japan. The smell of used panty machines are looming. There's a bunch of weebs running around like Naruto, wearing Akatsuki robes. Um, there's, uh, some kid has a death note, and he's taking his, uh, his notes in it. Just everything that you would see in Japan. And, yeah, right, she was on a surfboard. That's very Japanese. Hey, I like this matchup. Electric versus electric. Let's see who can do it. Have I not fought Raichu before? I feel like I have, but maybe not, because it's not telling me if I'm strong against him or not. But let's go for a light screen. That's always safe. Because <laughs> he's using Psychic. I didn't even get a chance to teach my stuff, Psychic. You cheater. Playing ahead of me. Uh, mirror shot. Is Steel good against Electric? Like, I know it's not super effective, but is it weak? I just want a normal damaging move. Go! Mirror shot him. Oh, it didn't do shit. But his accuracy fell. I guess Sheepover can take a few more hits. Why not? We can do it. Oh, he withdrew. He's a smart boy. Oh, he's a very smart boy. He saw ahead. He knew what was going on. Huh. Well, I'm getting Sheep over the fuck out of there. I could paralyze it, but there's the off chance that it's going to use a physical fire move and Sheep over would definitely die immediately. So, ooh, it's raining, so what better time for Valisquez, everybody's favorite, the one that I pronounce correctly, Valisquez, the cute clown otter thing. Oh, oh my god, he was going for the kill. Z power, do we have the fire Z power? We must. Yeah, we did get that one from fighting those little salamander things. Mmm, uh, I think we've got this one, buddy, I think... It's not going to even do half. Yeah, especially in the rain. Nice fucking try. Valisquez fucking scoffs at your shitty attack. I hope we're faster. I just want to finish this fuck off. Nope, he's faster. Should have used Aqua Jet. Scald him. You done, son. No more Toracat. What you got now? Oh, he's probably going to send back out Raichu. That makes sense. Light screen wore off. No, he didn't. Oh, I guess he has two things that are strong against me. That's that's pretty good. That is it intentional that both of his other Pokemon are strong against mine, or does he get uh, Pikachu no matter what? I don't know. Well, let's switch out of here. We have so many options for fighting Leafeon. I think I want to go with Psy. Because Psy doesn't give a shit about grass attacks. Yeah! Go! Giga Drain. They should get poisoned from Giga Draining a poison type Pokemon. Let's go Acrobatics, finish him off fast. No, oh, I guess he's the fast one, but we'll be faster! Now that he's gone first. Oh shit, I thought that would kill him. Okay. Finish him off. Oh! Am I fucking fighting Ben with all this switching bullshit? Come on. Should have used Stealth Rock. Oh, nice try, Raichu. Oh, who's gonna be faster, man? I've gotta be faster than Raichu, right? Raichu slows down when it evolves, but oh, I gotta play smart. Oh, I gotta play smart. I, I can't risk losing Psy over some stupid shit. I'll just switch. Who wants to take a Thunderbolt? Hmm. Yeah, Sheep over does. That's fine. Whatever, I'll finish it off with a Mirror Shot. Go! Oh, it was using Psychic anyway. Come on. Who cares? Wait, is it a Psychic Pokemon? Maybe Raichu is Psychic now. It looks like it's floating on his little tail or whatever. Is he electric? He must be electric Psychic, because Mirror Shot is being resisted. 
Or maybe he's just electric and he's using psychic. I don't know. And I don't know how to find out because I'm not looking it up. Finish him off, please. Yeah, there we go. Oh, critical hit. Don't know if I needed it. And now we'll finish off Leafeon after we level up. Flash Cannon. That's got to be better than Mirror Shot, right? Oh. Hell yeah. Higher accuracy, higher power. And it looks like it has a better effect, too. Yeah, special defense. Perfect. Perfect. Cheap Over just keeps getting stronger. But probably, eh, if you're using Giga Drain, I probably don't want to have Sheep over out against you. Although, I could finish you off in one hit, I bet. Eh, I don't know. It's not worth the risk. Let's give Kermit a turn. Let's use, uh, let's not use Beak Blast. Although, he's probably faster. So maybe Beak Blast would be fine. Uh, but either way, it's going to die. So I'll just go for a pluck and hope that I'm faster. Oh, god fucking damn it. Should have used Beak Blast. That would have been great. Could have burned his ass. Go! Beak Blast is going to be a great counter to things like Quick Attack or Aqua Jet. If I know they're coming, just hit that Beak Blast. Oh, you wanted to go first? Guess who got burned, motherfucker? Ooh, Double Slap. Oh, what? Why is Valus Quest learning all these shitty attacks? I mean, Sing is kind of shitty. I got it because it was funny. But Double Slap? That's really bad. Why? No. Yeah, what the hell? Trouble, oh, yeah. Trouble, 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 trouble.